Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology. And today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily install Nextcloud on a Proxmox VM. So if you want to build your own private cloud server where you have full control over your files, no subscription, no third party limitation, then this is a perfect setup for you. In this video tutorial, I will walk you through everything step by step from creating a virtual machine in Proxmox to getting Nextcloud up and running smoothly. But before we jump into the installation process, let's quick talk about Proxmox VM. Proxmox is one of the best free virtualization platforms that allows you to create your own virtual machine server at home. If you want to run multiple operating systems like Windows, Linux or Home Assistant all on a single machine, then Proxmox is exactly what you need. It is a powerful platform that helps you to create, manage and organize your virtual machines without needing any extra hardware. If you are not sure how to install Proxmox on your old laptop or PC, then don't worry, I have already made a separate video on this topic. You can check it out on my channel or I will leave the link in my video description below. So at first I will log into my Proxmox VM. So I will type my username and password and click on login click on ok now what i'll do is i will click on cell on this uh, window over here now what you have to do you just need to go to my website so link i will provide to my video description after that here you can uh, install three type of installation uh, so uh, number one is uh, turnkey next cloud so which is uh, easy to deploy and uh, pre-configured Nextcloud server. The next one is Alpine uh, Nextcloud Hub, which is small and lightweight Nextcloud. And the last one, which I'll recommend to install, which is Nextcloud PI. Okay, so I'll install this one. So I'll copy the command from here. And directly, I will paste that command to my uh, cell. After that, press enter. Now here it is showing like this will create a new Nextcloud PI. So I'll press enter. Next, here is showing like use default settings. So I'll press enter. So I want to use default settings. Now it will take some time. So you have to wait for few minutes. After installation done, you will get the IP address. Simply copy that IP address and open it on your browser. Go to advanced and click on proceed. Now here you just need to copy the username and password for Nextcloud API and Nextcloud. Okay, so I'll open the notepad. And I will copy. After that click on activate, it will take a few seconds. Once it will done, it will show you this page. Simply you need to type ncp and the password which you have already copied. After that click on this run button over here. Now click on this icon over here, next cloud PI. Now here it's showing like, uh, do you want to save the next cloud data in USB drive? So I'll select here no. Then do you want to use uh, next cloud from outside of your house? So as of now, I'll select no. Now here you will get two links, one for next cloud, another one is for next cloud web panel. So if you'll open both the link, it will open that login page. Simply you need to open that notepad and simply copy the username and password. Sorry, the second password is for next cloud. Now 
Now here if you want to customize your settings you can do from here. Now from here you can check your files. You can upload any files from here. From here you can check your photos and your activities and contact calendars and you can see the task. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care.